Hey, and welcome to this week's installment of What's Going On in It's Your Time, Turning the Midlife Crisis into Your Midlife Awakening. My co-host here is taking a little snack break, and while I'm gonna be talking about our guests and the books that they've written and all those kinds of things, um, our, our co-host is going to be drooling on the mat and eating the wheatgrass. We're going to take that away from you before you throw it up or something like that. That's nasty. Nobody wants to see that. Anyway, back to what we were saying. Dr. Veronique de Saunier is is one of our uh, guest experts this week. And Dr. V is also known as the can cancer conqueror. And she herself has had um, some severe cancer and has managed to cure herself of it using natural methods. She's written a book about not just that, but about what you can do to prevent or avoid it in your own life. She's also talked about risk management, what to do if you've discovered that you have it. It's a really great wealth of information. I put here some personal care products because one of the things that she talks about in the book is how some of the things that you do, the everyday choices that you make, the things that you put on your body, the, the other choices that you make, how they affect whether or not you're likely to get cancer or not get cancer. Um, another one of our guests this week um, I'm really excited about. Sally Campton is uh, an expert on meditation. And this book that she wrote is called Meditation for the Love of It. Um, when I first decided to interview her, I'll admit I was a little bit um, skeptical and a little bit put off by it because I'll be honest with you, this is my meditation cushion. I bought it when I went to hear the Dal Dalai Lama speak. I thought, well, this is good luck. I, you know, I'll get this and then all of a sudden I'll, my practice will increase. Well, that didn't work. But once I read her book and listened to what it was that she had to say, I really came away enlightened if you will. Among the other things that she does is she talks about how to take the pressure off yourself, how to stop making meditation such a gotta be thing, how it's not necessarily that you're not doing it right because there isn't a right way. Anyway, really great lady. This is only one of her books. She's written several and you're going to really enjoy her interview. I'm just certain of it. Dr. David Rosensweet is another um, one of our guests um, for, for this week. He talks about um, happy, healthy hormones, and as you might guess, he's all about menopause. And I want to quickly read to you an installment, and if you were here last week, you know that I promised you that I would be wearing my glasses because I couldn't read the excerpt from the book last week. So one of the things that he says is, both my mother and my mother-in-law started taking hormones in their late 80s. Both stood and walked again after barely being able to do so. After my mother's mind started disappearing, she came back to me. For a few precious extra years, I had my mom back. It's not too late. That's his messaging. He talks a lot about hormones and um, how they are to be used and um, some methodology for making the most out of that if you decide that you're going to be doing some hormone replacement therapy, particularly a more natural uh, version of it. Over here, um, if we can move around the tail, <laughs> we've got um, a book called Bloom, and Alejandra Car Carasaco is our author and our featured expert today. Dr. Alex, I call her, because um, her name is so unbelievably difficult to pronounce. Um, she, what I really like about her is she's a physician, and she doesn't treat the body in the way that most physicians do, where they, or in my experience, where they hone in on one thing that's wrong and deal with only that one thing. She deals with, and the reason that there's wheatgrass here, with the body treating it as, a, as though it's a plant system. So if you think about plants, we've got the green area here, we've got the root system, um, and we talk about the soil and the things that make the plant healthy. She draws the analogy between the body and plants themselves. So if you think about your environment, environment being the soil and the water and the nurturing and the nutrients that we give to our plants to make them be healthy. All of those things, it starts to make really good sense. And finally, one of our experts this, this week is Janet Atwood. Um, Janet has written a book called The Passion Test. This is a great book. I have to tell you, this is two thumbs up. Um, it's one of those things, it's, it is kind of a test, but it's also exercises, things to do. If you're feeling like, and I have felt this way before in my life, and I think most of us who have been midlife at different points, you start feeling like your fizzle is fizzled out, um, or, or your passion has fizzled out, um, These, this is a place for you to start. This is a place for you to take a look at what is it that I need to do to rekindle my flame? 
Why was I energetic before and I'm not so much now? What is it that I need to do to get myself back? So get yourself back, get yourself into all of the interviews this week. They're all amazing. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is not all the experts. There are plenty more. And Lotus and I are standing by and anxious to see what it is you think about this week's guests.